Hello everyone, in here. How are you doing today? Today I'm going to be playing some Agar.io, but I've just thought, in fact, uh, in, instead of constantly calling the live streams live stream, I'm just going to call it. Um, what should I call it? What should I call it? Doing what ever doing whatever I don't know. <laughs> doing whatever. That's literally what I do though. I literally do whatever. Agario or Agar.io I've not played it yet. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I guess it carries over from the last time I played, which was a long time ago. Mm. Right, I don't know how this is going to go, so let's just see if it's laggy or not. Oh, Christ almighty. Oh no, oh no, oh no, already, oh no, this is stressful. No, you dare, you dare. Can I use spacebar already? Oh, flip, I shouldn't have, probably shouldn't have done that. No! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my flipping! Who the hell is that? I mean, they got one half of me, but they're not, certainly not going to get the other half. Isn't that? Isn't that in some form of a song? I don't remember. <sighs> That person saw me, didn't they? <sighs> you know what? Screw my country. Let's try another country like... North America. Come on, you Americans. Let's see what you got. Legit, let's see what you got. Ow, my finger. Let's see what these American people have got on this game then. <gasps> shut up, shut up. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did I not die already then? Why is it so delayed? That's what I want to know. This is like a 20, what, 13, 14, 15 odd game? A 2015 game? And it's delayed AF. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Oi. Oi, I'll, I'll go. I'll bloody go after you then. Shall I go after. <laughs> shall I go after. Shall I go after NASA? Eh? That's what I thought. <laughs> I used to do this trick all the time. Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. What? Why? They kill you now? They never used to kill you before. You know what? Uh, la, 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 I don't know what to do now. I'm legit already getting bored of Agario. I feel like playing Paper Minecraft, but at the same time, I really can't be bothered.
let's play Happy Wheels then. Loud noises! I go fight. Hold on, let me turn off my computer mouse. Actually, so it's not in the way. Oh no. I'm sorry, but his neck snapped. NEXT! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Okay. Next. Surviving Games 2. What? Hey, you can push him. Honestly, not really that hard, I have to admit. It wouldn't, it wouldn't even let me go forward then. Thanks for the tip, try not to die, yeah, thanks. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Choose any random character, why not? Hold on a minute. Angry guy. Ha! Whatever guy. Ha! Why are they so far apart? What? Um, what? I followed that perfectly as well. Next! Oh God!
Ow, my ears. Okay. Mine's nothing more like mine, your own business, huh? I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. Don't go backwards. Do not go backwards. Damn it! That's right. Damn it. <laughs> Chill, will ya? Ow! I am stuck! Ha <laughs> Oh! Damn it, I know now. That was a f that was a big boom and a half. Oh no! What? Is there a mine? What the hell? Mm, every time that hurts my ears. Can't get the timing perfect. This bit's fine. And so is this bit. Now, nope. No! <laughs> I'm not giving up. This is a darn, darn good level. I didn't know I had. I didn't know I had to do that. That's a really good level. Let's get a run up again and What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah. 
You stupid thing. Oh, come on! Come on! I am going to do this. I'm bloody going to do this. Right. Down. 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 Back. Lean. 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 Finally! Yes! 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 Hooray! What do I get out of it? Nothing. Minecraft Quiz 3D. Okay. Oh, that's bloody easy. Nope! <laughs> An alien, obviously. There's a barrier here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Spider. No. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Is this a trick question? It's gassed, not cast. I'll give them benefit of the doubt. They mostly spell it right. Yeah, that's a spider. Yeah, I'll go for that one. Yay. I'm so happy right now. Ow, my ears. That's literally like... Boom! 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 Like, right in your ears, man. Jesus, calm down, will ya? Why is WWE so flipping famous? I don't get that. <laughs> That's nice. Next. Oh my god, are you joking? Dude, come on. <gasps> yeah! Christmas! <laughs> I 
Okay. You noob. Troll. Noob. Pro. <laughs> Is that it? Death no. Too far. Too far. No. I went da 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 tsh. Temple run? Oh no, is this 2D temple run? <gasps> go, 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 go! Oh my god! Are you actually. What the hell is that? Dude. Never end. It does clearly. Go 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 go. Go slow. Go slow. Go slow. Why is it going backwards to then... No. <sighs> Bottle flip, no. Bike ride, full. Okay. Full of what? Dad, tell me to take you... Uh, to take you... To ride on the bike. Obje objective, don't kill the children. Get home safe. Oh, oh no. Come on. Da 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 Oh my god, the look at the child. Hey, Jesus, man. Wee. I didn't know that. No. Okay. How? It's so not fair. Okay, right. I'm. If I go and then do that at the last moment, like this. But what? None of, none of them hit me though. Oh my god, this mouse. I tell you, this bloody mouse.
Da da da. That's nice. And you... Cannot read that. Wee. Okay, next. Look at my skills, boy! <laughs> Look at that! No, 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 no! Jesus. Okay, what? Why is there a bit down here? No. That's basically a simulation of motorcyclists taking over our roads. WWE, do your move! <laughs> Who cares about WWE? Like, seriously, wrestling this, fighting that. BS, I say. And just a simple ride down now, pretty much. Dude, where, where am I meant to go at that point then? You dumbo! What character fix? Don't move, helicopter man. No way! Hold on a minute, so every time I choose a character, let's do that, this one then. Explorer guy. He gets stuck upside down. Oh wow, this is clever. <laughs> Even you helicopter man. Where is Santa exactly? Santa has mu Yeah, Santa must have fallen down there, like... I mean, that's close enough. The elves are there, so yeah. Okay then.
Three, two, one. <laughs> oh wow. Let's do the wheelchair guy then. Uh. Uh. <laughs> that's clever, I have to admit, that's clever. I have to turn this damn fan on, I'm getting hot. I keep going from I keep going from hot to cold to hot to cold, like on the wheelchair. Oh god. Was I meant to let go at some point? I better be holding on. Don't. Don't rip off. No! Damn it. And go, 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 go. Happen, happen. Okay then. Feels good doing it first time. Nah. I have to hold the other button, not the the regular button. I have to hold the down button instead of the up button. For it to go forward instead of backward. How did Santa not bloody die then? You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. Oh, wee. Boom. <laughs> what is that face all about? Like seriously, I don't get it at all. What do you say about me? Huh? <laughs> oh, I knew that would happen. <laughs> Easy but long spike fall. <laughs> Easier. You know it always has to be that guy. Fred the baby. I just guessed. <laughs> Normally that would hurt someone like Jack Jacksepticeye's ears being BABALA! It's really loud, but not me. What if I don't die? Da da da! Come on, I'm right there. Greetings. Bye. 
Kenapa kau 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 I don't even know what this is. Yeah! I hold the answers, do you ever hear? Oh crap, didn't mean to do that button. You saw nothing! Bloodbath, oh god. One? No! 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 It won't bloody turn! Nah, it won't bloody turn! HWWE joking, dude. Stop with the WWE. Seriously, it's not even funny. Yeah! Alright! I will do this, I know I can and I bloody will. Hey! What? That's a load of ball. Why is it rated 5 when there's no da da da?
I'll do this one. Glass breaker. Du, 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 du. Okay. Okay. Let's use another character then. Him. Oh come on! Oh god. For real. I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Come on, for real, Z's man. That would not happen in real life. Or that. Or that. Or that. J JB Justin Bieber dies. BB Weebies, what? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's what I think of Justin Bieber fans. I hate people that. I hate Justin Bieber. He's nasty to his fans. But no, stupid people still go up to him. <laughs> Whatever. Justin Bieber hates his fans. Accept it. He doesn't like you. I What?
need to add more characters to Happy Wheels. Run. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. be a pogo stick thing. Not anymore! Have I glitched it? Oh my god, I have. Oh, the fudge. Oh, the fudge. What do you say to me, kid? Exactly. It's my brother. Nope. You're not my brother. Nope. Nope. I'm a wizard. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I had to, I had to, I had to. Uh... Somehow I'm still alive. That's right, you kids were weighing me down. I don't need you. Uh... Wait, what? Okay then. Evil Santa bought us. <laughs> You're been a very naughty kid. So have you. And so have. And so have you. Ah! 
<laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ma. Come in, Ma. Boy. <laughs> okay then. I had to do that one because it's coming up to Christmas. Uh, po guy. Hey, <laughs> that's nice. Next. Drag racing. Oh God, I can only imagine what this one is. P-O-G-O Doom <laughs> Doom What the hell? That's nice! Shupa, shupa call Oh no, is that too far? Is that... How is that too far? Not far enough, isn't it? Oh, I've got that gut feeling. Hey! Hell yeah! <laughs> How am I still alive out of all people right now? Wait, is this purposely designed to keep you alive? Or whoa, whoa, what's happened? Why is nothing happening now? Have I just crashed Happy Wheels? Hold on, let's restart this again. I ain't. I'm not gonna touch anything. Oh, look at them splits, though. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah. Death nice. <laughs> when it says end him, not me. Right, you know what? I've had enough. I'm tired, I'm bored. Goodbye! Okay, no, uh. Why does this look black on camera? I've just realised it's a dark blue shirt! Jesus, dude, come on. Uh, what can I do now? What can I do now? What can I do now? Let's go on to here. Have I done, have I done sister location on here? I don't know. Clearly I have, because normally it would come up the... Ah! 
Jesus Christ, it's loud. Oh God, I remember now. I remember now why I stopped playing this bloody level is hard as anything. Welcome back for another night of intellectual stimulation, pivotal career choices, and self-reflection on past mistakes. We're committed to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of that commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, please select it seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for choosing Angsty Teen. Who's died? <laughs> the elevator stopped. You know the routine. You can get up now or whatever. Stay here. So, funny story. A dead body was found in this vent once. <laughs> okay, so, not that Very funny, funny, but it's a story. That's nice. I guess. Okay, let's start with your nightly chores. You should check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage, but whatever. I'm bored. You know what? I'm bored. Let's end it here. Ooh, that's nice. Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels. Right, let's see. What if on YouTube, actually? Break down Easter eggs and details you missed. Right. New. Missing from one Minecraft 1.15. The Minecraft community is buzzing over the new Minecraft 1.15 Buzzy Bees update, and rightfully so. It's always exciting to see new features added to the game. Speaking of features, there really weren't many in this update. That being said, my name of course is System Z, and here are eight updates missing from Minecraft 1.15. If you enjoyed the video and want to support my channel and help me make videos in the future, consider becoming a member where you'll be invited to my Minecraft and Discord servers, as well as have a chance to help me with new videos through exclusive community posts. Click the join button below for more information, and also thank you to those of you who have become a member since my last video. Hello and welcome! My name is System Z. I've been sick. I'm sorry for the lack of content lately, but that's okay. I know you're a forgiving community. So let's go ahead and jump right into it with eight updates that are missing from Minecraft. As a side note, I'm still a little sick. There is one community I do genuinely want to join, and I believe that is, um... Sp how, how do you say his name? Spifey? Or something? You guys will, see, you guys will know what I mean when, when you see his name. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay. The hell? Wait, what the hell? Number 15, a frozen maiden. One of the strangest and scariest discoveries found frozen in ice holds an innocent title, the maiden. You may be thinking, well, that's not so scary, but think again. This Incan mummy is the thing nightmares are made of. The well-preserved mummy was found alongside two young child mummies, 22,000 feet above sea level, on the slopes of a volcano. Although it was 1999, nearly 500 years after she died, the maiden still had lice in her hair. All three were preserved in the icy mountain, completely ready to rise from the dead. Johann Reinhard, an American archaeologist and member of the expedition that discovered the three mummies, said, The doctors have been shaking their heads and saying they sure don't look 500 years old, but as if they died a few weeks ago, and a chill went down my spine the first- Oh crap. Hold on a minute. These headphones are annoyingly going for- Ah oh, no, but I've got. Well, I was meant to have my MP3 player on charge, but. <laughs> That's buzzing annoying.
Mmm, a terrible feeling just then. Will I be able to hear everything? Yeah. Buddy, yeah. Where do you go?
Yeah, like... <laughs>
Skip, 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 skip. Bloody hell.
I heard ham. What? I could not see it at all. <laughs> Say what? Hold on a minute. That sounds fake to me. This one, the one, the the one on this side here, on my right side, sounds more real to me than the bum 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 on the uh, left side. So I, cause it kind of sounds like someone's actually knocking at my door. The thing is though, he could have had a second monitor and he could have been playing the YouTube video from his second computer monitor and then just been acting, being like, huh, what the hell is that? Ba ba ba, ba ba ba, ba ba ba, you know, stuff like that. Hmm.
Oh god. Hold on a minute. It's getting cold AF in here. <laughs> look. I don't know if you can see that, but look at the way my leg is at the minute. It's all bent up and everything. to stretch. Oh, my legs are flipping hurting really bad at the minute. Yeah, really bad at the minute. <sighs> that felt a bit better. I'm going to fill up my bottle. Be right back in a minute. <laughs> so, what did I miss? Anything spooky happen? <sighs> Smells in here now of um chicken.
There's no camera, so there isn't there isn't a camera, so we don't know if he actually left the room or not. Because he could have just he could have opened the door, shut the shut the door, still been in the room, and could have just gone like that, you know? He legit could have just done that instead. Oh, this dude. Oh bloody hell, it's high quality and everything.
Four. Thirteen. To be honest, in a way, I'd, I'd be the same as well, because I'd, because that uh, that would be me trying to make something good out of something bad, like um, like if I had something knocked knock over, hmm, knock over without uh, me touching it, or I don't know the dressing gown falling off, uh, but the sticky part of it still stays on, or. I don't know, something behind me, I'd be like, oh wow, look like something moved on its own. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to streaming. You know, stuff like that's what I'd probably do in a really stupid way, but. If he was in, in his room, thinking I had shut the door as I left.
Oh god.
Oh, hold on. <coughs> EVP. The dead sky. Okay. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. I want to see... I only had a quick look to see what did this one say I mean it says that I've just got a new subscriber and it was this guy here but um Hold on a minute, who's trying to call me? Man? I'm getting a random phone number again. What's the matter? What? What's the matter? What's the matter? Are you just saying hello? Oh, she's taken over the live stream now, apparently. Yeah, you could just about see her tail. Come on, then. Come on, then. No? Do, do you not like it? Huh? What's the matter? Oh, I am fairly big, aren't I? Back a bit. Uh. I've never seen a liquor pour like that before. You're right. 
Mm-hmm. What's the matter, baby? Yeah, let me get my phone up. Oh, no, that's the torch. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, there she is. What are you doing? What are you doing, baby? Hey? What's the matter? Just can't say no. I'm having to look through the computer now. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter, Bella? Okay, okay. Leave you alone now, okay? Oh yeah, and this is proof as well, guys. 92% on the Bohemian Rhapsody thing. Oh yeah, I know what the I know what this is. Yeah. This is a video of my cat eating McDonald's cheeseburgers. I'll play the first clip for you. Ah. Look like I won't be able to show it then because it keeps lagging. Okay, what the hell? Why why does it say that I still have What? My mum's just bloody blocked it, what the hell? Okay, there we go, finally. Jesus Christ. Okay, no one else has messaged, okay. I mean, can I just get some normal messages saying, hey, how are you doing, you know, stuff like that, instead of other messages? I just realised, why do I look so weird on, on, on this camera? Hold on a minute. Or am I just being really stupid and weird at the minute? Oh my god, my beard! I don't remember it being this long that quick. What the hell? I want to try a blending effect. Hold on a minute. Blend 2. Let's try that. Does that even work? No, not really. Looks horrible, actually. I'll have to put it on that. Maybe if I come closer and then... Yeah, it looks 60 FPS now, but if I back up a bit more... Yeah, so to make my camera look 60 frames, I... apparently have to get really close to the camera, back up a little, and then... I mean, that looks fairly okay. I mean, it kind of looks 60 FPS. No, I ain't going to muck about. I'm going to... This flipping tag, I tell you now. I'm going to rip it. I'm going to rip it out. 
not actually going to flip and rip it out. It's digging in and it hurts. I mean, I haven't had to rip out a tag in years, but... I can't get a good grip on it. Oh, hold on a minute. Ah, can't get it. What can I use? What can I'm getting so sick of this tag. The entire stream, which is two hours long, I've had to put it up. I've had to put up with, and I'm just about had enough now. Right, I'm gonna have to take my shirt off. My, I'm, I'm, I've, I've had enough. I'm, I'm getting sick of it. I don't care if I'm topless on camera. Like legit. Like I need something to. <sighs> flipping out, as flipping out. Mm. Ah, I can use my watch. I'll try and use my watch. There we go. And oh, did you hear that? A small bit ripped. <sighs> like for God's sake! It won't go all the way through, so I'm gonna have to do it like this. There we go, finally. That's just one under the computer. Has that left a hole? I hope not. No, that's alright actually. Alright, I've been topless on camera so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> For now, hopefully. Where's the. Okay, that's. Yeah, that's definitely alright, that's definitely okay. I don't need the tag because I've got um, a thing on the side here, so, I can, so that way I'm, uh, it's indicating ah, that's the right way. I mean, there's much worse stuff on YouTube than being topless on camera, so, eh. Um, yeah. I mean, clearly there's much worse stuff on YouTube. <laughs> oh, that is much better. What the hell? I just had a weird, sad look on my face. That is much better, much better, whatever I just did. Okay, the blending effect I like, but you clearly, but I clearly need a lot of light for it, which is really annoying, so. Yes. <clears throat> lower, lower, lower the camera down to two. I can't bloody talk today. I tell you now, to as low as possible. Yeah. Whoa! Seizure! Seizure warning! Can I actually? Is there any way to do auto brightness or anything? Like, it won't. It legit won't let me. Unlike my 720p camera, this, I have to manually do everything on this camera. I'll tell you now, it's an absolute nightmare. Like, uh... That's certainly not auto-brightness. Look, if I do that and then put my hand next to it and then... Like, I don't know what the hell's going on, i tell you guys. I bloody don't know. You know what? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just gonna continue. Continue like normal. <laughs> Have we seen this one before? Oh. <gasps> yeah. 
What about this one? Oh yeah, no cure. I've seen pretty- oh my god, hold on, what the hell is this? You're right, Bella. What's the matter? Come in. Lay down then. Lay down. Good girl. What's the matter? You looking at this? I don't know if she wants this or whatnot, but it's the thing that's connected my yeah. Oh, oh, it's so cute! What are you doing? Why have you got big black eyes? Why are they not green, eh? What's the matter? What's the matter? Show me. Or tell me. Ow! 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 What's the matter? Got her attention by going meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? I think, yeah, she's just concentrated on this now. Okay. What? The bad egg, you mean?
Yeah! Right! Ow, flipping out, just out of bit of air caught. Well, you know that. What, you like the Me? Yeah. Nothing, why? Assume me. <laughs> Great. The only time I had the toilet was the wee downstairs, and that's it. I mean, you guys don't need to know that, but it's a who cares, it's on the internet forever now. Yay! Uh, long after my death, people will probably look at that and laugh. <laughs> you used to use toilets back in my day, blah de blah blah. He used to use 60 frames, now there's, a f now there's 5 bajillion FPS. Whatever.
No, because I want to watch some happy stuff and eat my dinner. So you know what, I'm going to end this stream here for now. And uh, yeah, maybe come back to that video. I don't know. Uh, but for now, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this live stream. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. Uh, no, because I said I will come back. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep the stream going. I'm going to keep it going. I'm, I'm not going to end it here. Uh, but I will end it here, uh, as you can see, so, yeah, be right back in a minute. Well, not in, well, not in a minute, but, like, I don't know, depending on how long it takes for me to eat my dinner, then maybe have a shower, I don't know, all that stuff, so, yeah, be back in a minute. <laughs> Bye. Oh great, I just realised. Hold on a minute. <sighs> Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. Still working, still okay, still okay. Go 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 go. Where is the video? Here we go. Most artists know that the best way to get their message across is to use shock value, while others just love making creepy and questionable works. These 15 scary Ugh, adults swim. In this video titled Hell, Firth does not fail to deliver the confusing and creepy f Their eyes taken out. Much like Crooked okay. Rod, it seems to be made from home. With no background for this video, or who created it, you'd probably assume it came from the mind of an insane psychopath who has taken countless victims. While there's no proof David Firth is a psychopath, he definitely has a different way of thinking and he always distributes perfectly horrific content. His YouTube channel is still active, so if you're interested in more of his grotesque and marvelous work, go check him out. In a recent promo, he described his own work as a seamless stream of nightmare consciousness, which is really the only way to phrase it. Video Number two, Molten type. Light. Chad Val Gallen, a solo musician and animator, has created several musical albums and animated art pieces all by himself. In 2008, he created the album titled Soft Airplane. For the song Molten Light, he also animated his own music video. Not only is the story poetic, uncertain, sad, and slightly horrifying, but the video is a perfect match for this unique creation. The imagery presented in this short music video resembles that of a children's folklore book. If that book took a turn for the disturbing, there's cartoon nudity, gore, murder, and a brilliant formula for revenge. Two men cut the heart out of a young woman, dump her body, and eat her heart. She returns from her grave as a distorted and sinister spirit seeking revenge. She now has four eyes, a large head, wrinkled skin, and looks more like a monster than a ghost or human. She rides on the back of a cliff that is drawn out like a dinosaur or horse-like creature and eventually finds the two brothers that killed her. Locked away in their home, she has grown ten times her own size now and is a demonic creature of mass proportions. She tears down the home and kills them with a flame from her chest, where her heart used to be. After she kills the brother, she seems to be presented as some sort of higher being. In addition to this roller coaster of amazingly scary visuals, the music is a beautiful melody which narrates the story. It's perplexing to think that Chad Val Gallen created this entire project by himself.
number 11, The Sad Tale of Bad Breath Joe. This one minute short animation was created by Dimitri Kozma in 2010 and shares the short and tragic tale of a man with horrible breath. The comic-like animation shows us a man with stench fumes radiating from his mouth. Everyone around him is disgusted and they flee from him. He is instantly saddened and finds the only solution is to down a bottle of sulfuric acid. In the next image, everyone is surrounded by pleasant flowers, meant to signify a charming aroma. As the image pans to the left, we see Joe smiling as he is finally accepted. However, his mouth and cheeks have been eroded off to expose his skeleton as blood drips from his face. In the description of the short and bloodstained comic, Dimitri explained, A funny way to show how much we would do for acceptance from society. So clearly the message here was that many people will go great lengths to be accepted and desired by others. Number 10. Smile In 2004, Alexander Wazlewski created this worrisome animated short that really makes you think about society. The short features what seems to be a council of popular kids or just generally happy people. One guy is wearing a basketball jersey, while one sports a leather mint jacket and a woman wears a tank top that says sexy bitch. The jury sits in front of our main character with huge smiles across their face. The protagonist here has no smile on his face, he seems distressed or sad. One of the jury members presses a button which shoots a large metal stake into our protagonist's back. A screen flashes with the word smile, and it becomes clear that he must smile to stay alive. He tries his best but his blood flows from him. It's hard to keep a grin and he is eventually killed off by the council. After he is filled with about five sharp stakes, he is thrown off a cliff-like beam into a dark abyss. Strangely, a disco ball ascends from the ceiling and the council either engages in an innocent dance party or an orgy. This animation gives the feeling of someone suffering from depression trying to fit in, but being crucified for emotions they can't control, though the creator only stated, a troublesome individual is put against a jury, is he capable of life in a joyous community where a smile never leaves faces, which gives the viewer room to speculate the different possible messages being portrayed in the film. Not only is the imagery here discomforting, but it makes you rethink the way you treat others. Number 9. It's Such a Beautiful Day This entry is a little different because it is a full-length film, comprised of three shorter films. Created in 2006, It's Such a Beautiful Day follows the story of Bill, a seemingly mundane man who is struggling with more than the surface tells. The majority of Chapter 1 follows Bill's daily routines. While they seem normal at first, it quickly becomes clear that something isn't right. Bill suffers from delusions, nightmares, and memory loss. The small issues are almost comedic, but as the story goes on, especially through chapters 2 and 3 published in 2011 and 2012 respectively, the film becomes darker and more upsetting. Stressful scenes, gory imagery, and terrifying audio clips come together to create a beautiful mess that audiences can't look away from. Sometimes during chapter 2 we find out that Bill suffered a head injury which has likely led to a severe mental disorder. As certain scenes pick up and become more stressful, the split-screen viewing style and combating audio becomes just as overwhelming for the viewer as for Bill's life becomes for him. While the style can be cutesy at times, the story presented only grows more harrowing. The short series has gained praise for the way it presents mental illness, bringing the audience into the battle instead of just being an unaffected crowd. If you'd like to watch the entire film, it's available on YouTube and Netflix. Not only does this short series have a perfect touch of horror, it really makes you think about those that may be suffering from mental illness and their everyday struggles. We highly suggest that if you view any entry in full, it should be this one. Just as a warning, the ending is a complete tearjerker. Number 8. The Pier This short animated film was produced in 2004 as part of a student of thesis game. for the Ringling College of Art and Design Computer Animation by student Jason Bennett. In his personal blog, Bennett explains that he was responsible for creating all aspects of the short and that it was seen on MTV2 and was featured on SIGGRAPH 2004 Animation Theater. 
The short follows a humanoid creature that goes out onto a lonely pier near sunset to fish. What the fisherman doesn't seem to know is that there's a large creature perched beneath the pier, watching his every move and waiting to attack. The creature beneath the pier releases a smaller creature from its mouth to bite the line of the fisherman. He catches the small creature and eats it fresh off the fishing pole then turns to walk away, but he suddenly hears splashing and returns to try for another catch. The small creature he devoured before begins eating away at the lining of his stomach and he drops to his knees in pain. At that moment, the monster from beneath the pier grabs him, pries his mouth open to release several smaller creatures, likely offspring of the mother, into the fisherman's stomach where they begin eating him from the inside. The film ends abruptly and you are left with more questions than answers. The message is quite unclear although it seems to be a twisted play on the food chain. Either way, the suspense of the scene and the artwork are sure to give you chills. Number 7 Dollface uh. Artist filmmaker Andrew Thomas Huang created this short animated film in 2007. In an empty room, a mounted TV and an empty metal box sit in place. A few seconds into the video, some robotic humanoid pops out of the box. The machine has a human face on an otherwise mechanical body. The robot faces the television just as it turns on and swiftly surfs through the channels. The TV eventually lands on a channel where a face can be seen. The face looks very similar to the face on the robot, only it's wearing makeup. The machine immediately takes an interest and moves closer towards the TV. What the bloody hell? With a concerned really expression, she uses her mechanical arms to reach into a compartment that holds makeup. First, she applies lipstick, then eyebrow makeup and blush. She stops and smirks, pleased with her new appearance, but then the station changes to an even more detailed and made-up version of the face, with colored eyes, darker skin, and a thinner nose. She looks up in approval as the TV turns off and begins to move away. She follows it upwards but cannot reach, so she lunges forward several times. Now the TV has come back to life and continues to display more and more beautiful women. In one last desperate attempt, she lunges forward with even more strength, but she snaps the base of her figure and falls to the floor, shattering her face. It's undoubtedly clear that this animation was based on beauty standards the media puts forth that are unattainable by men and women alike. Andrew Huang's description reads, A machine with a doll face mimics images on a television screen in search of a satisfactory visage. Doll face presents a visual account of desires misplaced and identities fractured. Number 6. Sebastian's Voodoo This short directed by Joe Quinn Baldwin was created in 2009 and follows the quick and emotional story of a small voodoo doll. The story begins when the small voodoo doll awakens in a dark, dirty room. He's mounted upon a hook alongside several other voodoo dolls. He courageously saves the other dolls by pinning himself to affect the voodoo amiss. He successfully pins himself in the heart, which causes the animus to have heart failure. And the other dolls are saved. The general idea here is what makes the clip so disturbing. Not only is voodoo a commonly creepy idea, but adding living little tortured dolls to the mix somehow worsens the practice. The detail in the animation is more marvelous and even more horrifying. Number 5. Smile Yet another entry titled Smile, yet with a totally different story and animation style. The short film isn't exactly entirely animated. Most of the characters in the scenery are live action. 
only the heads of the characters are animated and blown out of proportion. This disturbing presentation was created by two film students, Yuvel Markovich and Noam Abta in 2005. The film begins with our main character Yuval going over to his friend's home for some coffee. He is greeted by a woman named Haggett Why and walks in to find his friend Oshit fixing the TV while an apparently attractive woman lays back in a reclining chair with her broken leg propped up. A few awkward interactions lead to Yuval being nervous and paranoid. Haggett seems obsessed with the order of things, forcing Yuval out of one seat because it's her spot. Yuval then sits next to Nakomes, the girl with the broken leg. He asks her what happened and she hesitates before saying, it was an accident. So, uh, how did you break your leg? Not an accident. Wait, Haggett brings in some coffee for Yuval and Oshik. After one drink, Yuval feels tense and nervous and pours the coffee out in the kitchen, where he finds an empty bottle of Valium on the floor. All throughout this, Yuval has been seeing the woman and his friends as terrifying smiling faces. The Valium begins to knock him out and that horrifying face is all he can see before he sees the girl with a broken leg hit him with a long object. It's unclear if this is all some delusion, perhaps the increasing visions of a panic attack, or if there really is some foul play occurring. Either way, these blown out heads and creepily smiling faces makes us all almost as uncomfortable as Yuval. Number 4. Bingo the Clowno This short animated horror act was created in 1998 by animator Chris Landreth. Aside from the creepy psychological thriller aspect of this film, it is considered an amazing work in animation for its time. The use of more 3D styles with several moving parts at once and unique background designs were unseen for computer animation in the 90s. Chris Landreth created this short based on the play, Disregard This Play, which was written and performed by a theater group known as the Neo Futurists. The short features an everyday man stuck in a circus act, several different characters such as a rough clown with a cigarette, a slob that produces money, and a slightly demonic little girl all come by him and insist usually by screaming that he is Bingo the Clowno. For several scenes, he argues that he is not Bingo the Clowno, and he doesn't understand what's going on. Bingo. Bingo the Clown. I'm not Bingo. Hi, Bingo. Bingo, Bingo the Clowno. But I'm Bingo. not. Bingo. Bingo the Clowno. But I'm not. Hi! Hi. Hi, Bingo. But I'm not Bingo. He's coming, you know. He's coming? To check on your progress. However, through fear and what appears to be a media brainwashing, the young man eventually admits that he is Bingo. The ending after that is quite a twist. Bingo? Yes, Bingo. Bingo. Bingo the clown? Bingo the clown. Bingo, Bingo the clown -o. I am Bingo! I'm Bingo! The background, the music, the characters, and the concept are all reminiscent of an LSD trip or a magical nightmare. The circus aspect and the angry clowns really wind up the nightmare fuel in plenty of people and the sudden screaming that resembles jump scares are enough to make anyone flinch. Number 3. Rabbit At first, I thought it was um, about bullying because I thought it was about people going up to him and calling him names and and uh, I, I thought it was some some bully who went up to the person and called him Bingo the Clown as in uh, being a bully and then everyone else heard it and caught along and, and then uh, uh, everyone else calling him it that's what I thought but no clearly not it's something else I, I, I would have been like oh Bullying, really? Come on. Do you remember the children's books with colorful scenes? Where every item in the photo was labeled to help kids learn to read? The short film created in 2005 is basically the exact same thing, except with murder. Two children run through the woods in a farm, killing and torturing small animals. 
the two kids, likely brother and sister, bring home a live rabbit and cut it open. Out of the rabbit pops a small golden goblin-like figure, which kills a fly that turns into jewels. Oh my god. <laughs> the children realize that when the small man, titled Idol, kills things, they turn to riches. They quickly realize that by using the power, they can become rich. So they devise a plan. They take Idol out into the yard and kill the sheep near him. Flies swarm around the carcass, which causes Idol to kill them. As a result, countless jewels are produced. The ordeal continues in a montage of murdered animals, zapped insects, and literal boxes of riches. After the children lock Idol away to purchase more food, he turns back into a rabbit. All of the riches turn to insects and devour the children. The message here is likely about greed, but the imagery and storyline used is deeply unsettling, especially considering that there's no dialogue aside from the growls of Idol. Number 2. Pick a Dun On August 6, 1945, the United States dropped a fatal atomic bomb on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The result was over 200,000 deaths and irreparable damage. Pick a Dun is a Japanese phrase that Oh. I believe, if I remember correctly, I think I remember watching a small part of this at my school. Uh, it, it, it's it's a movie. Uh, I don't exactly remember what it's called, but I remember watching this. Uh, it was some sort of lesson, and I don't know exactly what it was, but I definitely remember this photo. And I believe there was some sort of watch as well. First to the bombing. Picadun is the title of this 1978 animation created by Reznō Kinoshita. The short film begins by showing the lighthearted daily lives of random Japanese citizens, a family, workers, and people in. It wasn't an animation though. It was actually uh, real people acting and stuff like that. In the street are all portrayed. Of course, we all know this is going down a dark and depressing path. About three minutes into the cheerful scenes, a loud roaring can be heard and several jets are seen in the sky above. Everyone carries on with their day, but tragedy is not far. The bomb no, is dropped and in it. flashes of gore we see people's skin literally melt off their bodies. A mother attempts to protect her infant but is too weak for the powerful waves of the atomic bomb. Buildings are turned to dust and cars fly through the air as well. Burned bodies of all sorts of people are shown, mothers, children and more. Finally, we are met with the remains of a small child we had seen in the opening of the film. Perhaps the most disturbing part of this short film is that it isn't fiction. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. That's probably what actually happened. That their skin probably actually melted off of their body. And that's why you can't see the who 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 they are, who they were. Uh you can't even recognize them, like mental. Video updates. But that, that I definitely did not see that animation though. It was real people like me, R exactly real people. Uh, it was on a it was on a DVD, and uh, it was some people flying in jets and aeroplanes and stuff like that. And uh, I think it was basically 
showing what would have happened, what would have happened if any more uh, bad stuff happened. I don't know what I'm even saying. I, I, I just know that it wasn't an animation. I'd really ends number one backwater gospel in the small old town of backwater when the undertaker arrives it means he's waiting for someone to die so that he can carry them off a religiously charged preacher in the town suggests that the homeless man who never comes to service should be taken out the undertaker arrives and everyone waits nervously to see who will be the one to die after seven days of no deaths and rising tensions the preacher again suggests that the unholy man is the cause of this torment he claims that killing the man will give the undertaker what he wants, serve God and protect the rest of the town from death. When the angry mob kills the homeless man, the undertaker still doesn't leave. Everyone goes on a murderous rampage until the whole town is dead. Well, it ain't gonna be me! At which time the Undertaker finally begins measuring for coffins, suggesting that he was there for the entire town. Aside from a great storyline, and a satisfying dose of gore, the art used in the story is magnificent. You get the feeling that you're reading a fast-paced graphic novel with great animation alongside it. More importantly, this video is a great starting point for discussing about organized religion and the agendas of religious leaders. The short was directed by Bo Mathorn and released in 2011. It won the Animated Encounters UWE European New Talent Award. If you're going to do anything with 9 minutes of your life, watch this piece of high art. Before you go, I wanted to tell you about the giveaway I'm hosting. But first off, thanks for watching. Yeah, there's no point in listening now because it's in 2017. Right, I am officially going to end it here because th uh, this chair is really, really starting to hurt my backside. Like to the point where I have to keep laying down. Not laying down, but like, you know, I, I have to keep... I don't know getting cl getting further and further down whatever you call it i don't know but yeah it's hurting my bum so i'm gonna end it here uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching this live stream i hope you enjoyed this live stream give it a thumbs up if you did i was wishing i could play some minecraft as well but this chair really hurts uh make sure to give the video live stream a thumbs up if you did enjoy it uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, or live stream, even. Hit the bell icon as well. <laughs> Bye.